I kind of became interested in environmental issues in high school. That's really when it kind of took root for me. And so you kind of grow up um, understanding nature and wetland loss and wetland restoration. That was just, that seemed like the biggest thing I could possibly tackle. My name is John Bourgeois and I'm the executive project manager for the South Bay Salt Pond Restoration Project. My background is in wetland ecology and I've spent my entire career working in large-scale wetland restoration. The South Bay Salt Pond Restoration Project is the largest wetland restoration project on the West Coast and it encompasses over 15,000 acres. Now that's kind of an abstract number. 15,000 acres is an area about the size of Manhattan. So it's a very large area. So it's very difficult to restore something on this scale in the middle of Silicon Valley. We're surrounded by bridges and aqueducts and PG&E towers and businesses and people's homes. San Francisco Bay is the largest estuary on the west coast of North and South America. And it used to be full of these tidal wetlands and marshes, a very lush, abundant ecosystem. But because of our climate, the long, uh, dry summers, uh, the water evaporates and creates these salt flats quite naturally in the marshes. And so humans started manipulating these systems, modifying these natural salt ponds to try and enhance salt production. And so what they did was they would levy off the marshes, create berms around them to hold in the bay water, let it evaporate and concentrate the salts. And they would do this over and over and over again until they would get these, these thick flats of salt that they could harvest and it became, became big business. So because of that, we've lost um, a large majority of our wetlands in San Francisco Bay to this purpose. So why do we care? Why should we restore these salt ponds back into tidal marsh? Uh, most people think of restoration as a luxury, as something you do when you have excess income so you can benefit these endangered species and it's a feel-good story and that's the end of it. And that couldn't be farther from the truth. We're improving the water quality, we're providing additional flood protection. If you look at the Silicon Valley businesses that are right adjacent to the shoreline and are at risk for sea level rise, it's quite shocking how many of our Fortune 500 companies are in the 100-year floodplain and at risk. And so by restoring these wetlands, we really do protect the economic engine of the Bay Area. Not only do we want to bring the Bay back, but we want to bring the people back to the Bay. The Bay used to be a, a real part of our identity, and so providing people the opportunity to experience the Bay and, and bringing this wildlife up closer, um, I think is a real valuable asset to our, to our psyche of the Bay Area. I live and breathe this stuff. And I get frustrated because there's still such a lack of awareness of this project and, and, and the resources that the Bay have. If you go to South Florida, everyone knows about the Everglades. Here, people don't seem to know. And people are always surprised that this is going on in their backyard. I mean, this is one of the largest wetland restoration projects in the country. and People don't have an idea it's going on. And they don't understand why it's going on. We're 10 years into a 50-year project and continuity is critical. I'm really pushing to keep the momentum going and to keep restoration happening, to keep it in the news, to keep people aware of this. Because once it stops, the inertia is gonna be really hard to overcome to get it started again. So for anyone just coming up through the educational system and is thinking about an environmental career, I would have a couple words of advice. One, you gotta have the technical background, but you also cannot ignore communication, whether it's writing or public speaking. That's the majority of what I do. Find something you're passionate about. And if you're a go-getter and you're smart and you can communicate and you start interacting with the right people, opportunities are going to come. I think it's very rewarding to see something go from an idea to a concept in, on paper to big yellow iron out there moving a lot of dirt to seeing the birds and fish and habitat return. Being involved in such a long-term project with such concrete results is extremely rewarding. This is a fantastic project. It's basically my dream job.